Uh, okay, so um, there's a few buggies heading out already, but uh, the plan of attack today is to do a little exploring towards the main portion of town before it gets too crazy busy. Um, really, I need to pick up my laundry. They open at 7, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time exploring there before I swing by, pick up my laundry, and then go back to the Posada and have some breakfast and then head out exploring east of here towards that little... Um, surf community of Priya. Getting around early is even just nicer in that the wind isn't howling. You can hear yourself think and not have sand in your ears and in your mouth and up your nose. And so it, it would be um, nice if it would kind of stay like this most of the day. It's just not what's going to happen. But you want to get up and do a bit of walking. Morning's nice because you're not dealing with all that wind. Okay, as I sit here drinking the sweetest coffee I've ever had, I've I haven't had sweet tea sweeter than this coffee. It's, it's good. That's strong. It's good. A little public park or square here. Um, feels mostly like hotel, Posada employees going to work and things. This is the time to be out. Just see what's available before the, the, the shark vendors start just railing on you about tours and trips and do you need a buggy and all that stuff. Shopping here is just king. That and learn how to kite surf, wind surf. Um, the restaurants, I, yeah. The shopping here blows people out of the water. And I guess in terms of the the recreation aspect of kite surf, wind surf, and stuff, I didn't see a lot of that there. Um, but just. The sheer quantity of shops and stores and restaurants and posadas here is just incredible. One thing I've noticed here that I've not necessarily seen an abundance of in other places is uh, cafes, places that are actually open early for cafe de mañana or um, breakfast type things. Um, this is the first place I've noticed an abundance of them where other places, even Masio, it is just not the typical thing. about that time. Nine o'clock, big buggies are heading out for their day tours. And soon, the place will be empty. Until about uh, three, four o'clock when it all lights up again. So, rinse and repeat. Yeah, I don't really think that the horse is a faster option. Top of the hill. At the lighthouse. I was there for sunset last night. This would be a nice sunset as well too. A little bit longer to get back, but uh, this would really be a nice sunset. You can see some of the buggy traffic up and down the beach. They cut up here. I saw them last night as well too. I don't know what that is. If it's uh, I doubt it's a Bombieros, like a uh, lifeguard. Maybe they're vendors selling stuff. I don't know. Um, I don't want to give up the high ground too quickly. I kind of want to see what's over here before I explore this way. I don't think I can get down this way. I think that seems very accessible and very quick. So it appears that this is just a, pretty much just a giant cliff, which even standing here is, uh, I, is not comfortable. But So I'm going to uh, keep walking this way, and I can probably cut back. There's like some little rocks and stuff. So I suppose if you were venture enough, you, you could actually make it down that way. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Um, but it looks like there's a nice little portion of the beach that's opening up. The plan is to kind of walk down that way and see see what the surf's like and uh, see what's cooking down there. So it's about 9.30, which means early batches of buggies are rolling out of the facades and hotels and dropping the tourists off. 
Yeah, this seems to be kind of a drop-off spot where they go walk and come back. Part of the tour. I don't remember what beach this is called, but there's probably some rock formations that they go take photos of. Now, this is a cool little structure. This dune kind of just encircled this, this outcrop here. This is very passable coming down. I think those buggy tours do the same schedule regardless of tide. They leave about 9 and they're back about 3. Which is why it's nice to roll back into town about 2 and have my pick of restaurants. Uh, that's our ultimate destination. I'm just going to take, I think, a quick little peek. And I may even take five, oh shit, that's cool. I may even take 5 minutes just to stroll down to my left a little bit. Um, well, I see why they're dumping tourists off here. That's that's pretty sweet. That surf's pretty good here. I don't know the name of this. It's probably got a name. This is obviously a point location. No guide needed, really. Although, these people got dropped off in a buggy. Alright, you just, you just gotta kind of barge away in. Because these freaking Brazilian women take forever to do their 900 selfies. Uh, which they're going to, you know, post 899 of them on Instagram and Facebook later. Oh, more tours. Okay, perfect time. Perfect time. Just finished up. Let's go the opposite. They're going this way. I'm going the other way. Yeah, I guess that at the end of the day, this is the part that I enjoy. Just, just away from the crowds and being able to explore when I want and where I want. And if I'm part of that buggy tour, I've got to watch the clock and be back at a certain time and stick with the group and whatever. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep walking until I feel like not walking anymore and then turn around. It's like ATV tour and motorcycles riding. We only got one customer. Hey, if you look, you can, you can actually see the White House from here, which surprises me. This is a surf. So one of the nice things about this really kind of coarse, not quite gravelly, but shelly, coarse sand, very, very shelly, worn, worn shells, um, large average grain size, is that even in this voracious wind, there's no sand blast, it's just too heavy, you're not getting blasted in the face with sand. Opposite side of here, it's much more fine sand, it's almost like powder. It's really nice and soft to walk on, but it just kicks up and blows in your face. Here, no such thing. Also, in the water, it's crystal clear. You don't get sand kicked up everywhere. It's so heavy, it wants to stay at the bottom. So, sand just isn't everywhere. So, it kind of stays put. That's, that's a nice feature. Yeah. See, that's the type of tourism that you don't want to endorse. People that who don't drive on the beach. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. That's who you don't call. Um, but, what can you do? So if I time this right, most of these folks should need to be out of here because they're on a tight schedule. They're already heading back to their buggy. I don't know why these people they had to jump off because you can't walk that far. You've actually got to, you've got to be driven down there actually. So, all right, there's our big giant friend we saw earlier this morning. We got a little bit more of beach to play with right now. And um, I see a couple, just a handful of people. Maybe they've got some extra time. That's where we were earlier today. Um, Looks like it's good timing as most people were on a schedule. I actually saw some of the same people who were taking selfies there. They were on their way out, so they probably got to catch their buggy at a certain point. Got it.